Today, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu played a controversial visit to Capitol Hill where he defended his war against Hamas and asked for U.S. support. Ahead of his visit, protesters rallied outside, gathering hours before the Prime Minister's arrival. Israel does not seek to resettle Gaza, but for the foreseeable future, we must retain overriding security control there to prevent the resurgence of terror to ensure that Gaza never again poses a threat to Israel. While many Republican lawmakers welcomed the prime minister's speech, other members of Congress chose to boycott. Let's go to our Andrew Ramos. He is live in the CBS News Chicago newsroom to break down the local reaction to this divisive appearance. Andrew. Well, Maria and some of those lawmakers who opted out of Benjamin Netanyahu's speech today instead met with the families of Israeli hostages, including Illinois Congresswoman Jan Chakowsky. She is part of a growing list of local Democrats critical of the prime minister's leadership in, in Israel's Hamas war in Gaza. While protesters made their presence known outside the capital, rallying against the deaths of nearly 40,000 Palestinians since the war began, lawmakers held their own protest of sorts, pushing back at Netanyahu's address before it even happened. More than 50 senators and members of Congress were no-shows for the speech, among them Senator Dick Durbin and Congresswoman Delia Ramirez, both instead issuing fiery statements on the House floor ahead of his appearance. The support for Israel's right to exist is not a blank check for extremist policies of Prime Minister Netanyahu. We cannot work towards peace while giving a war criminal the floor. Congresswoman Jan Schakowsky among the many House members who opted to meet with families of Israeli hostages, said they have growing resentment toward the prime minister and his inaction to end the conflict. These are people that are very angry at Bibi Netanyahu for not making a priority of a, of a ceasefire. He is not interested in ending the war. It's a sentiment shared with Congressman Danny Davis, who did attend Netanyahu's joint session speech out of respect and tradition, but maintains that he disagrees with every policy the prime minister has put on the table thus far. Especially his treatment of, of, of Palestinians who are in need. Now, Prime Minister Netanyahu is expected to meet with President Biden and Vice President Harris on Wednesday. Then we'll meet with former President Trump at Mar-a-Lago on Friday. Reporting live in a newsroom, Andrew Ramos, CBS News, Chicago. Andrew, thank you.